Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be chatting about some brand new curriculum that I just received. This is gonna be my first impressions. I have not looked at it yet, so I'm really excited to unbox it with you guys and um, let you guys know what I think. Alright guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some brand new curriculum. Today's video is in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful. I am always so thankful to be able to work for and alongside such an amazing company that not only blesses my homeschool and my family, but I know so many of yours as well. So there are two brand new science units that one of which I am like, I'm so excited. I've got really high expectations for, so I'm really excited to dig into it and share these with you guys. Um, the health and the human mind is the one that I'm really excited about. And then I'm also gonna be sharing weather and water as well. So a little bit of a backstory about me personally. I have always been really interested in psychology and it's always just been a passion of mine. And so studying the human mind, focusing focusing on mental health, focusing on the nervous system and the brain and how it is all connected is really interesting to me and it's just, it's it's something that I'm really passionate about. So I am really excited about this health and the human mind unit specifically. Now I'm not going to be doing a full flip through on these today so if you would like a full flip through please comment down below and let me know. I have done tons of flip throughs on tons of different science units from the good and the beautiful so I'm going to link a playlist up here for you so if there are any of the units that you're curious about chances are I've probably done a flip through on them or I've shared them on my channel so you can um, head up here to the cards and check out more of those videos if you want to all right so let's dig in to weather and water first I think this is gonna be a great unit for all ages now this science unit is levels three through eight and then it also has extensions for the older kids so something I really like about the good and the beautiful science is that they all have these lesson extensions so that you can really modify the lessons to what you need for your specific homeschool now all of my children are in elementary school and so when we do our science lessons I will highlight specific things that I want to focus on um, for my specific children's ages I usually don't go through an entire lesson or all of the meat of a lesson for their science lessons. We touch on the key points and then we go through the activities. I may go and find a documentary on a specific topic that goes along with our lesson. I really have learned to embrace making it my own. And so the fact that they have things for younger students as well as for the older kids is really nice because you really get to embrace one of those benefits of homeschooling which is to make it your own and do what your what you need to do for your children to get the most out of your learning and education at home. All right, so the weather and water unit is bound. They have been binding their units I think since last year and it is such an amazing change. I love it. I love having them bound. <laughs> One last thing for me to remember to do, you know? So you'll see that the actual unit has 14 different lessons, starting with an introduction to weather, talking about climates and seasons, and then it also talks about water, the atmosphere, air, wind, the water cycle, clouds, weather fronts, rain and rainbows, snow, sleet, hail, and freezing rain, thunder and lightning, and then going into severe weather, weather forecasting, and the beauty and power of water. So as you go through this unit, you will see that there is beautiful photography inside and out of this unit. I think this, like I said, is gonna be great for all ages because weather is just interesting. It's super interesting, and I think that there's just, gosh, there's so much to take from it. I am so excited about this. You're seeing that they're learning about wind. They're making their own wind vane. Super fun. I love that there's artwork in here as well as photography. I really like that. The water cycle.
that go along with this unit are the Beauty of Weather, the a Good and Beautiful Art Collection. Oh, I'm excited about this. I have not opened this up to see. And I will share with you guys a little bit of what the inside of this looks like. This is a book full of art that is sharing different forms of weather. So cool. As I'm looking through this, I'm seeing that there's questions, there's conversation questions in here, as well as the beautiful artwork. How cool. I love this, absolutely love this. It kind of reminds me of the Nordic Christmas box and the book that we got in that box specifically with all of the beautiful artwork. I love it, I love it. So once again, it's taking this other aspect um, of education artwork and bringing it into something like a science unit that's talking about weather so you're not just sitting down with a textbook going over questions and answers and watching a video you're getting to learn about weather in a beautiful way seeing different artwork having conversations and questions this next piece is the Schoolhouse Blizzard. This is a book that The Good and the Beautiful has had for a while. And this is something that we actually really enjoy reading in the winter time. It is about children that are in a schoolhouse in 1888 and they get caught in a blizzard. They're in Nebraska and um, they have to be brave through it and face their fears. And it's a really good story. The next couple pieces of literature that go along with this unit is Changing Weather, the story of June Bacon Bercy. June, a bright and motivated young woman, always excelled in school. The atmosphere fascinated her, so she chose to study meteorology. A person as intelligent and capable as June should be a welcome addition to any science, but that wasn't the case. June was African American and never before had an African American woman earned a degree in meteorology. Undeterred, June persisted and blazed the trail for others to follow. This is a story of how meteorology and broadcasting pioneer June Bacon Bercy forever changed the face of weather. So this this sounds like a really good story. I love learning about people. And the last one is called Wild Wild Wind. And this is about a boy named Sam. It says when Sam experiences a downburst while visiting his grandparents, he can't help but want to learn more about the wind and what it can do. Learn about tornadoes, downbursts, hurricanes, trade winds, and more as Sam and his grandpa exchange letters on these exciting topics. So as I'm seeing, there is still this acknowledgement of family and the importance of family woven through this. He's exchanging letters with his grandpa. We're learning about historical figures and big things that they have done in their field and how they have um, blazed trails and been brave and made changes. And then with the unit, you're also gonna get the weather and water student journals. There's a grade three through six, as well as a grade seven through eight. So this is gonna be where they're gonna be doing their independent journaling and work alongside the actual unit itself. All right, and then the other unit is, of course, the health and the human mind. So as you open up into the actual unit itself, you'll see that there's 12 lessons that make up this unit. You're gonna start with the human mind and the nervous system. You're gonna learn about the brain, eyes and vision, ears and hearing mouth and taste, smell and nose, the brain stem, all of the senses that make up our body and the way that we experience things. And then we're gonna talk about memory and emotion, social and emotional health, connecting with nature, and then finishing out the unit on a lesson of healthy habits. So one component that I really appreciate about this unit itself is the fact that we are chatting not only about our brain and the physical aspects of our nervous system and our senses and the way that our bodies are designed, but we're also learning about emotional health, healthy habits. If you look through here, you'll see in the brain stem lesson, we're talking about our sleep cycles, how much sleep we need, what, what qualifies as getting good sleep. So there's just so much to learn inside of this. We're talking about emotions and memory really good topics, social health, 
lots of good stuff in here and this unit is going to also cover some maybe more difficult subjects as well one example of that is the addiction questions and answers book so this specific book is geared towards grade seven and eight or if you've got older children too, this is gonna be talking about some difficult topics and maybe some questions that your children might have and answers for those. So I think this is a really great topic to be covering within your homeschool because sometimes the topic of addiction can go kind of without saying, right? Or it might be one of those topics that is just really difficult to navigate through how to, how to talk about. So I really appreciate that they have included that within the correlated books in this unit. The next book that comes along with this unit is the amazing thing called Memory. So this is talking about how our memory works, how do we recognize faces we've seen before or remember what we wore yesterday. The amazing thing called memory answers these questions and more as it explores brain function, anatomy, fascinating facts, and case studies of individuals with memory challenges. This last book is called A Penny for Your Thoughts. Perfectionism, overthinking, low self-esteem, and pressure to please others, Tilly experiences all of these during her first day at choir camp. She wonders if she should even go to camp at all. However, with the help of her mom, Tilly decides to make some goals so she can work through the stress she's experiencing. It's hard at first, but Tilly learns just how powerful her mind can be. So what an amazing story and also tool to be able to give to our children. So they're reading this story of a girl. She is nervous. She's unsure. She's dealing with mental struggles that we all deal with but her mom is coming alongside her so we're reinforcing that mother-daughter relationship that importance of family learning about how powerful our minds can be and how positive thinking and knowing what truth is and reinforcing truth in our minds is just one of the most important things that we can do. And so once again, The Good and the Beautiful hits it out of the ballpark with this story. I think of my 10 year old daughter, you know, I, and I wasn't sure what we were gonna go through as far as uh, puberty and self-confidence and things like that because we homeschool. I know what my experience was being in public schools and the influences that I had in my life, but I'm starting to see that some of these self-confidence things, some of these apprehensions or questions that we have about ourselves are just natural and it's part of growing up. And so I'm really excited to have a book like this that I can utilize and can be a story for my children to be able to read and learn from as well. And then of course the health and the human mind also has the grades three through six and grades seven through eight student journals as well to go alongside with the unit. All right, you guys, so much to unpack here. So much good stuff from the good and the beautiful in these two units. I will have everything linked down below for you. I can't wait to dive in and look into these a little bit deeper. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Leave your comments or questions down in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain